everybody, welcome back to another episode of Volpa Simulation. Uh, today I would like to show you the setup and testing of a new uh, part that I purchased for my simulator. The parts come from FSC, Fly Simulation Center, it's a company in Italy specialised in uh, high realistic parts for uh, fly simulation. They can even provide you the full copy. I did not purchase the full copy from them, only this part because I did not find anywhere else. And I'm talking about the stick shaker for the 737. One for the cockpit, uh, so sorry, for the captain side, and one for the uh, for soft side side. I search everywhere. Again, uh, my simulator one 100% realistic, and the stick shaker is something that I don't see much or, or quite often. In uh, a lot of YouTube uh, channels, in terms of uh, simulation, cockpit, uh, uh, other copy that people uh, has been uh, assembled so far. Uh, so I purchased this. I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks like, what contains, uh, what was inside the package, and also we're gonna set up and test uh, and see how it works. The stick shaker package comes into a wooden box all the way from Italy uh, again it's a uh, flight simulation center where I purchased from uh, this is the main uh, uh, power supply and amplifier for the uh, shakers uh, I'll show you a little bit more uh, obviously connect the power there we have uh, either usb or ethernet cable connect there and here is where you connect the two cables one for uh, each shaker okay so one side goes uh, here and the other side goes to the shaker we have two and these are the shaker quite heavy guys i mean this looks like the real deal uh, all metal coaxial control shaker obviously two these are the 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 things uh, you call it to connect to the to the column uh, the cable is I showed before couple of screw to connect everything uh, and then obviously we have the manual Uh, currently, the stick shaker have an IP address of 192.168.1199 under on the port 12345. While we know this is important because we need to configure two things. The first part is to connect the stick shaker to the network and let them talk each other. And the second part is to um, uh, connect that to the prosim. So let's start uh, with the first part. Let's open uh, and we put 192.168.1199 and it will ask your username and password the username will be admin uh, and the password will be admin of course you can change after by the moment I'm not too bothered and you have this part now you don't need to do anything now you don't need to uh, click all you need to do is leave enable uh, DHCP uh, as it is, don't enable that uh, this one will be the one that you're using for the stick shaker the gateway uh, at the moment is 16811 but you need to pull your gateway now uh, don't get confused because it says gateway and you will try to put the default gateway it depends if you are connected to your router directly then it is, then ok if not, like myself, I, I'm connected to an access point which is connected toward the router. So I need to use the access point, in this case 192.168.1253, which is exactly the same I use for all the other modules from Sysmo and so forth. So 253. Uh, Subnet mask leave as it is, HTTP port leave as it is, and of course the port 12345, 12345 for UDP leave as it is. Now save the config. Is rebooting in progress to configure itself with the new setting. 
everything after it reboots uh, it seems okay you can close the the page the next things you want to do is if you you don't need to do it but you can simply ping uh, the one and two one six eight one one and nine and if you get everything okay just like that uh, sent for receive for lost zero you know that you are connected correctly now we can close this we don't need that uh, we just need to remember that the next thing is to go into proxy config configuration and then you go into driver and go where it says FSC stick checker now this is because I purchased from them fly uh, sim center in Italy all you have to do here is 192 168 119 you already put the port itself and then you press OK. You can close this now because you don't need any more. And you just wait until ProSIM will restart by itself. And everything, if everything is done correctly, it should work as expected. Okay, so the first thing you see straight away. Uh, you know that it's correctly configured because you see stick checker here, you also see stick checker there and it says connected to one, uh, the correct IP address and uh, port so leave ProSIM on and what we're going to do now, we are going to test the stick checker Right, the first uh, step test will be to go into the panel, uh, select your after overheads, let's do full screen now. And I'm gonna test the store warning test number one. And this is a very low uh, sound uh, because I think it's, it's just I left you the imminent store warning. Then we go to number two testing. This will be much louder. Let's do one more, the number two. Okay, so everything seems to work fine. Let's now test uh, during a flight. All right, we are uh, at a safe altitude of 10,000 feet. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, currently under autopilot, 10,000 feet, and we decrease the speed to 190, so it's uh, just above uh, um, safe uh, speed, so we don't want to go into stall without uh, warning. What we're going to do now is to test the, the stall. Uh, so, uh, Jonathan, the captain in command today, he will uh, disconnect the autopilot and he will uh, pitch up or reduce the speed, whatever he wants to do, in order to go into a voluntary stall, control stall, yep. and we should see the stick shaker get active. Then, Jonathan, what I would like to do, when you go into stall, give it like a couple of seconds, let's see how it feels, right. and then go back, pitch down, so you increase the speed, and the stall should stop, and then do once again, and then stop and then I'll tell you for the last wall train we're gonna do it. Okay. Okay. So disconnect to Palito. Oh by the way, we remove all the alarms uh, so you're not gonna hear any alarm because I don't wanna hear anything apart from the stick shaker uh, um, noise. Let's go. Okay. So we are pitching up. There you go, we already installed. Okay, go down. Get some speed. Yeah, that one, that one quite quick. Yeah, we need to actually also see. At the moment, it's stalled in somehow a 100, which seems uh, unrealistic, but we need to see exactly. Okay, now pitch up again. Gently, gently. I'm gonna see. Alright. Okay, the speed we are 185. Climbing. We are climbing, climbing, 180, decreasing very fast. There you go. Okay, go back down. Increase the speed. So it seems like uh, 
Yeah, we are now big stall. We are in 160, so go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. No. We need to increase the speed, otherwise we keep stalling here. Okay. Okay, now what I want, before it was uh, very controlled, now what I want is just pitch up all the way. Let's go in vertical up. Let's see how cool. you react. Go. Three, two, one, go. All the way. Okay. Okay, so let's pull back uh, the a safe speed. Okay. So I'm gonna pull autopilot on and we go back to level change ten thousand feet. Okay. So uh, let's uh, think about this for a second, what happened and we can summarize for today. Right, so what happened there is that we were at 10,000 feet and we tried to stall the plane and the plane was stalling about 165, I saw about 170 knots. Now I did some research and actually they should be correct because when you have about 30 to 40 degrees flaps extended the stall speed of a 737 dash should be between 130 and 150 knots. So we had all the uh, flaps to zero, we were at 1000 feet, so I think 165 could be uh, actually correct. But I'm gonna do further testing, now we're gonna put the plane down to 2500 feet and we're gonna uh, extend the flaps up, up to 30 degrees and then we are gonna test the stall uh, warning and also the stall uh, speed uh, if it's correct uh, with the stick shaker. Let's go. Okay, we are uh, at flaps 30. Now, uh, you don't see the the red bar and everything because we didn't put any, any route. I just did very fast uh, uh, an approach to an airport for us to land, uh, but I didn't put any, any sort of information. I think that's why uh, the outbound display is not showing all the information I really need to see. However, as you can see, before we were uh, um, stalling at about 165, 170, and now that we have the flaps extended, the stall uh, speed is actually reduced, exactly as expected. So, our Captain Jonathan is now going to try one more time uh, at this low speed and uh, this low altitude to stall again. Okay, you are going down by the way. So, check the altitude. Okay, go up. Up, up. Okay, then. Go down again. Okay. Go up again. We are very low. Okay, let's increase the speed. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Alright, uh, let's touch down. I'm joking. No, let's not touch down. Let's increase the speed and let's go up because we are very low. Okay. We are verted. So we are increasing the speed, guys, because we while testing, we were not paying too much attention to the altitude and we were most <laughs> crashing down. Yeah. So, okay, we alerted, but we are happy with the testing of the stick shaker you are stalling again okay so let's go back to remove the flaps and put this in configuration correctly testing is done thank you guys for another uh, watch another episode of Alpha simulation see you at the next time Good job, Captain.